it's all working. The energy is flowing. Oh, guys, this guy. Uh -huh. Well done, Heart. Make Astral World pay. Make them pay with your power. Uh, the, pa the power? It's becoming too much to handle. Ah! Big brother! Mm. Can you hear the crush of the feet closing in? He has, he has outdueled us both. Uh, is this it? I'm afraid so. Farewell. <gasps> Incoming message, Master Kite. Heart's in trouble. A uh, heart? We'll finish this later, but now I must leave. Ah, long time no see, Reginald. I'm sorry. Everyone calls you Shark now, don't they? Yeah, that's right. What do you want because I got no time for you? Ah, you'll make time after you hear this little tale from our past. It takes place during the finals of a duel tournament, where you, where you spied on my deck and was disqualified. I don't blame you. You wanted to win so badly for your sister. How could you resist my conveniently placed duel deck? <laughs> Why, it's almost as though the deck was left out on purpose. Ugh, you mean, you set me up? Ugh, what's done is done. And that was a A1 villain monologue right there, if I say so myself. And that includes your duel career. Because ever since the day you've been a no-name nobody, Whereas I've been winning, hashtag winning, trophy after trophy on the dual circuit. That must make you feel like a, <laughs> like a loser. God, that you get stuck in the friend zone. Uh, no, I'm not. I don't. Then prove it original. Face me in the world dual carnival. If you dare. Oh, I dare, all right. Oh, God, this guy walks cringe. At Vetrix's Resonance. Reginald will be participating in the World Duel Carnival, just as you wished. <laughs> Excellent. I knew you wouldn't let me down. But still, does he really matter? But he's, he's but an empty shell now. Perhaps, but we still have a part to play. All will become clear once we've gathered the numbers. Uh, very well. Until then, I'm just enjoy, I'll just enjoy putting Shark through the ring row again. <laughs> Meanwhile... Yuma tried desperately to gain entry into the World Duel Carnival. He approached the head of the tournament, Mr. Hartland. In order to enter the carnival, a duelist must possess a certain number of heart pieces. Unfortunately, Yuma had none. What a basic bitch. God, main characters aren't even pulling through right now. And this was his last resort. Yuma was, was kept from seeing Mr. Hartland by building security. Before Hartland could have, drag, could have him dragged away, Kite Tenjo stepped in with a request. Uh, please, I'll give you my entire life savings for a heart piece. That's almost 75 cents. Damn, nigga, you broke. Well, you ain't getting shit on Steam sale, bitch. Now, now, send in more security. Take him away. Ah, uh, hold it. Let's let the little rat participate. Ah, you know him. No. But you never know who might have a number card these days. Oh, are you are you sure you're not hiding something, Kite? Mm. Hartland exited the building to congratulate Yuma on his acceptance. My dear boy, I have heard your plight, which is why I decided to come here personally and give you this small gift. Oh, all right, a heart piece. I finally got one. Now I get to compete. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Finally. The day of the duel arrived, everyone was dueling all over the city, and someone with a grudge against Yuma, who could possibly hate him, struck. <laughs> Any last words before, because I'm taking you out. You know you have it coming. Oh, wait, hold on, wait. Why do I have it coming? Who the fuck are you, bitch? I, I, my DMs are closed. I don't even know you. You sure I'm not the one you want to blast? <clears throat> I'm absolutely sure. I'll never forget you, Yuma Tsukomo. Uh, hold on. Is that you, Anna? Uh, Anna? Yeah, Anna Kaboom from school. She transferred out two years ago. Don't you remember? Um, doesn't ring a bell, no. Oh, so I'm easy to forget? Is that what you're suggesting, Yuma? Uh, n no, uh, oh, fuck. No, I just really want to impress the main bitch here, so I'm just like, 
I mean, fuck. It's not like you're not important. You're just important relevant to my sexual, I mean, platonic interest. N not at all, I, I think. Wait, why exactly are you are you after Yuma, Anna? I'm after him because I want to get my revenge for what he did to me back then. Or, or didn't do. Huh? You, you never noticed me. I put glue on the bottom of your shoes. I scribbled notes all over your dual disc. I cut little holes in your gym shorts. I hid rocks in your dual fuel. Wow, you know, you'd really think I'd remember all of that if you were like important or something. You're telling me, how could you not know I was head over heels in love with you? That's why I was trying to get your attention. I asked you to meet me after class. I waited and waited, but you never showed up. And now it's time for payback. So get ready, Yuma and Sukomo, because I'm here to collect. Whoa, 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 look, I know that I'm the main anime character, so I, I get a mandatory love triangle, but shit, these anime troops are exhausting. Before you start collecting anything, maybe there's another way to teach me a lesson? Who the fuck would even say that, my god. By doing something that'll make, that'll really make me suffer. Like beating me in a duel. God, this is so insane, dude. Ah, uh, a duel, huh? Works for me, let's do it. However, if I win this match, you have to become my boyfriend. Whew. Highlight 120. Anime plots in 2017. Whew. I cannot believe that was a thing. Lose for true ending. <laughs> right? Okay, so. Fuck you! 